So it's one of the most popular segments. What is your degree of confidence in Greg Cody's back in my day? Greg Cody is an established, accomplished journalist. He has been four decades in the journalism game. He is a writer, a craftsman. And he takes these back in my days back to a different time, nostalgic, musty, fossilized. How do you feel about today? I like this one personally because it's it's very, a very personal subject matter. I'm not sure if it's a great back in my day, but I like it. All right. Well, well okay. That's, that's high praise from you. You don't do that a lot. So here it is, Greg Cody's back in my day. And now it is time to take a trip down memory lane. Here's your guy, Greg Cody, with Back in My Day. Cookbooks. Whatever happened to them? Rhetorical question. What happened was Google murdered them. You can still <laughs> find a cookbook, of course, but it's like buying a manual typewriter. They look at you funny. Nowadays, if you want a recipe, you Google beef bourguignon, and a million recipes and videos turn up, and you print one off, and that's that. Me, I prefer to turn to my library of cookbooks, which are alphabetical by genre, Cajun before French, before Italian, before Mexican. Cookbooks are my dog-eared friends, trusted and worn, lending soul to cuisine. But I'll go the cookbook even one better. Nana Doogie once had a homemade recipe book, <laughs> fat with decades of things she'd clipped from magazines and newspapers, along with her own original recipes written down in an old woman's trembling penmanship. Oh, what I would give to have that book of family history again. Where did it go? In the margins were jotted notes and updates, ingredients to add or delete, measurements to be adjusted. The ghosts of meals past were contained on those pages as they are in cookbooks, faint splatters of some long gone Sunday sauce, echoes of laughter from a crowded <laughs> kitchen. Nana Doogie did it old style, deep fried in a hundred year old oil she kept straining and recycling. Her specialty was something rarely eaten today, organ meat, oh yes. She had myriad ways of preparing liver, kidneys, tongue, even heart and brains. Ugh. What a delicacy, the brain. Ugh. She also prepared thymus glands and pancreas doing business as sweetbreads. Ugh. I'd eat these things routinely as a boy. The only organ I didn't care for was tripe. Found it chewy. Animal organs as food generically are referred to as awful, by the way. Spelled O-F-F-A-L, but pronounced awful. Isn't the language wonderful? I digress. <laughs> Look, I know real chefs and accomplished home cooks usually don't even lean on recipes. They know inherently how to tenderize a beef tongue. But if you do need help, don't turn to Google. Turn to your trusted cookbook. Although if you find one dedicated to animal organs, to awful, let me know because I've been trying to find one of those for 30 years. Nana should have written it. I'm Greg Cody, and that's how it was back in my day. Did you just say, isn't language lovely? Is yeah. that what you said? Yes. Yes. Awful. 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 It sounds awful. O-F-F-A-L. Mike, Mike ate tripe. It was hairy tripe. Mike ate hairy tripe as a grit of death punishment. It might have been the worst uh, It might have been the worst thing. It was either that or Pablo eating the pickled pig's feet, right? Or oh, I used to eat pig's feet all the time. Tripe is innards, and it tasted like innards. Yeah. 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 And, it it had, it, was it and it had hair in it. It had hair in it. It was, it was gastrointestinal foul. lining. It was brains. Uh, Mike, do you think we could sell a Greg Cody cookbook? I think he'd enjoy doing that, and I think we could actually sell a Greg Cody cookbook. We'll put it in uh, in line right behind the Sugat's personal record book. Yeah. Guillermo, put it on the poll. Would you buy a Greg Cody cookbook? Has ESPN clipped anything we've done today? Anything we've done today? The goal of the day has been before 1 p.m. to get ESPN to send viral some important social point Greg Cody and I were making while Greg Cody is dressed as Sean Connery from Zardo's. You'll be happy to know that ESPN has posted a video on its website of you two, Dan Lebitard and Sean Connery from Zardo's, discussing Kevin Love and mental health. 